So today I did a lot of first impressions testing. Okay, so, so excited. And this is the look I came up with. Um, I really, really love how it turned out. There were some products that were eh, you know, okay. But as a whole, I didn't really dislike anything. Um, so I can't wait for you to see it. If you want to know how I got this look, then let's get into the video. All right, so I have some new products to play with today. I'm so excited. It's all gonna be a first impression. As you can see, I'm already baking because I didn't have like a new foundation or concealer or powder primer none of that um but everything else is going to be first impression so i'm so excited i just want to jump in and see what i can uh, create my face oh, uh, i'm gonna have some bumps today on my eyes i don't know what that is from i woke up one day and they were there and i was just like oh, okay welcome bumps it's, uh i'm gonna cover you so <laughs> that's what i did and I used uh, the Morphe sponge, the new one. Well, it's not new, but it is my new one, and there's nothing greater than a fresh sponge, in my opinion. Nothing, nothing greater. So, yeah, I'm just going to jump in today. Today, I want to play with Sultry. Sultry is speaking to me. I'm going to a baby shower, and um, honestly, these colors are like, you know, they're neutral, but they're still really pretty. And I'm feeling like, with my shirt, I'm feeling like a pretty rose gold, um, dark brown, not so much smoky, but just like a bold look, you know. So let's just see what let's just see what we do. First things first, I'm going to prime my eyes, and to do that, I'm going to use not you. I'm going to use the Max Soft Ochre Pink Pot and just the Zoeva Buffer Brush, and we're just gonna prime these bad boys. Alright guys, so I just scooched you in closer, that way you can get a better look at the eyeshadow. Um, like I said, today I am going to be using the Sultry palette. It just was speaking to me, and these are the shades and the colors, and so, yeah. Uh, let's just continue on. To start off this look, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... If you see my karate scales come out, it's because there's a gnat flying around here and it is driving me crazy. <laughs> you are working my last nerve. I am taking an M5 that die <sighs> and I'm going to dip into the shade Birch and I am just placing that right below that transition I'm also working that on the outer corner of the eye And this is just to further define that crease. Like, all right. Next, going in with a Morphe M433 brush, I am taking the shade Twig. It is just this cool tone brown shade. Oh. Okay, you dip, dip. Like you don't even need a lot. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Dang that! Okay. Moving on. I'm going to be taking a Perfusion flat brush and going in with the shade Dystopian. It's the very deep, 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 deep dark brown shade in the palette. I mean, 
it's a deep brown don't get me wrong but i literally feel like it just kind of faded in and blended with that twig shade um but it's okay take a m573 and i'm going to take this bloom shade which is the pop of color in the palette and i'm going to work this right in that transition area just to bring back some warmth and a distinguished pink shade of the show but first I'm going to cut my crease. Get that off my hand. Okay. And I think I'm going to go in with the shade Ember, which is this really gorgeous brown, like, shimmer. And I'm going to take that and work it right where that deep, dark brown shade starts to meet. Yes, I like that better. Gives it a little more something to blend into. Oh yeah. I like that better. And to get even more pigmentation, I'm gonna take my finger in that ember shade and just push it. Push it. I'm gonna push it. Jeez. I'm gonna push it into Got shot on. Now going in with the star of the show, which is the Rose Quartz shade. Right there. That is just gorgeous. Oh, can't wait to get it on my eye. Mm. Hmm. Um, maybe I just didn't wet it enough? There's no like but I had the same problem with the Norvina palette. I had to like wet it like crazy in order to get like some kind of pigment pigmentation. 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 There she is. I was afraid she wasn't gonna show up. But she's here. She made it to the party. Punk and place it right between Ember and Yeah. I like that. That's a win. So I like that. Now I'm just gonna do the other eye off camera and I will be right back. All right, so now I just popped on some falsies as well as some liner. Now let's move on to the rest of the face. So I'm gonna contour and I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Cream Contour Stick, nothing new. Brittany Bear Contour Set. I'm taking the M6 and just doing my standard nose contour. This brush feels really nice. And it's super small and precise. I really like that, okay. Bronzer, I want to try the Wet n Wild Queen's Island bronzer. Queen's Island. Queen Bland. Get this open. I'm going to take the Wet n Wild um, bronzer brush. Okay. That's really nice. I was afraid it was going to be so pigmented and I was going to just like go in. And be like, oh no, but no, it's really nice. It's not too much color either, so. And I believe this was $5, guys. 
$5. I really like this. Blend out that concealer on my nose. Okay, the Insta Sculpt palette and just that contour shading palette. This is really pigmented. Oh my gosh. And for my nose, I'm going to take the little nose contour brush that it comes with. This is the M0. And I'm going to take that and contour my nose. It's not that fluffy. Like, it's kind of stiff. So, I mean, I can see if you're using this for, like, to get precision. But for me... I'm not that big of a fan. I like something a little more like movable, like fluffy. So I'm going in with my angle brush to kind of further blend that out. And now we have a contour nose. All right, moving on to highlight Spark by Morphe. And this is really pretty. Okay, Morphe. <laughs> wow. I love the color. It's like a champagne pink. I thought it was going to be too dark for me, but it's actually not. And it's so pretty. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Okay. Now I'm going back in with Sultry to smoke that lower lash line. I am just taking this Real Techniques brush and I'm taking the shade Birch and just placing that on the lower lash line just to give it a little something something so it's not bare under there. There. I don't want to do too much to the lower lash line. So, so now I'm going to set my face, let the powder melt, hmm. and that is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Surprise, surprise. I kind of want to go in while my face is wet. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where do I sign up for a glowing highlight? to be taking the L'Oreal Havana collection in deep brown. <sighs> Wish me luck. I'm nervous. It's a little brush and I'm oh, just so scared. Let's just see how this goes. I like that it's got a little angle to it. Not bad. I like the precision it gives you. Oh, shoot. Whatever. This is not bad. This is really great, actually. It gives you a, like, like this little brush hair strokes without looking, like, too over the top. for it. Super quick and easy too. But if you're the type of person where you don't like like a pomade looking brow, then you may not like this. But for me, I have like the, like, I have brows, brows hairs. I have brows hairs. I have brow hairs. They're there. They just are not as prominent as they should be. So this Makes it real easy to get that like defined brow with natural looking hairs. Okay, that looks great. Moving on. To the lips. Uh, for lips, I'm just taking the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Liner. And this is in the shade Nude. Ah, surprise, surprise.
No. Stop with that knee. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. The shade Virgin. So, I mean, I already knew I was going to love the formula, but I really love the color, too, so. Yeah, and with the shade Serendipity by the Camila Cabello Havana Collection. It's really thick. I'm scared. Oof. Dang fly. Mm. Okay, there we go. It's not sticky at all. I actually quite enjoy it. Okay. <gasps> Put on some more mascara. All right, guys, and this is the final result. I really, really liked all of the makeup. I did have a little bit of trouble with sultry. You know, some of the colors worked better than others, but as for a whole, I absolutely love this palette. The, the, the look I came up with is really, really nice. Um, I am not too big of a fan of the Morphe blush, but I mean, I only used, you know, one, two shades, so I'm going to try, I'm going to try it out more and see how I feel about it, but for a first impression, like, it didn't wow me, um, I like blush, I really do, and this just wasn't doing it to me. The highlight, though, is absolutely stunning, no surprise there. I really, really enjoyed the, the, um, Camila Cabello, uh, like brow that worked really really nice also as well as the lip gloss i will be reaching for virgin again um and as a whole i just really really love this look so if you like this video give me a thumbs up um as well as subscribe to my channel and be part of the glam fam as well as become a glammy subscriber and yeah i hope to see you in my next one um yeah Mwah. bye glammies I was gonna use sarcophagus. I was gonna use sarcophagus. Sar, sar, sarcophagus. Okay.